welcome to the maximum shield Dagon robot that you can build. We're talking about 10 million shields or something. It depends on how many things are shooting you with how much firepower, but it could be easily 20 million shields. You restore around 100,000 per second with this particular build where I can spawn right the entire enemy spawn and no one will ever get through these shields because they regenerate too quick and are too high. So with six times needle providing 12,000 something base shield, but then three times fortifier, 20% more shield each and faster shield regeneration each. Then 10% more shield durability from the uh, drone seeker with quantum radar built in as well. Then we have the pilot skills that 25 percent more durability with the activation of the ability 20 percent more shield durability from the pilot skill and then another 25 percent faster regeneration so altogether we have maybe like 150 percent shield strength yeah or 100 uh, uh yeah 120 percent shield durability bonus and we have like 80 percent uh, or or 100 percent regeneration bonus too and then each of these built-in needles has its own shield capacity so that in the end a full M max 3 or mark 3 um curie robot can't ever break through he deploys two turrets he shoots you with two sub doors and you ne he's never going to get through these two types of shields we have which is needle and the dagger shield all together the first one you see now we even have three you see the top in the top left at number two it means after this shield comes two more entire shields and that is always when I use the battleship which I also have providing us another 300,000 shield energy every couple of seconds when we filled up the battleship bar even an Ohokochi with the full uh, what are these weapons the present category weapons I always forget the middle and the medium name um, he can't break through this is one of the weapons with the highest firepower in the game he cannot break through the shield now he's got support from a revenant with sonic weapons they can't get through the shield if you don't shield break me you will never get me killed unless you bring multiple titans to the table Mult like five robots they can eventually shoot down the shield and ladies and gents this is gonna be an interesting compilation of a video that was highly requested by you guys it was a viewer request and uh, so I was here and let's say uh, let's try it for the entire 18 19 minutes you're gonna get a crazy compilation of people being frustrated with never-ending shield power on this Dagon robot, okay? And we shield break the enemy and we quantum radar them as well due to the Seeker drone. Now, this video is also a giveaway announce video. So we had the 200 Dagon robot giveaway and this video here announces the winners, okay? So, uh, yeah, if you have participated in that giveaway, make sure to check down the description pin comment you find the Google Doc link uh, with the IDs sorted by ID. Okay, all the winners, including the ones from TikTok. And there will probably be another giveaway coming soon. So if you didn't make it this time, uh, don't be too sad. I think there's another chance coming up soon. Maybe with the new uh, uh, robot that is coming, the teleporting Scorpion 2.0, right? So you see, we're absolutely spawn raiding the enemy. Uh, and now I'm getting shield break by something. It, it will be your periodically happen because the people will eventually realize they cannot destroy this Dagon robot, even when they bring three people, they just can't break through the shields. And so they will eventually bring something that shield breaks you. Um, and when they do, you'll feel it because the Dagon itself doesn't have that much health. However, every time I activate the battleship for more health with the Paladin battleship, I also gain more maximum durability and I restore that, you know? So I'm ending up with 350,000 HP, even though I already lost 30%. And uh, you see, even the uh, Ohokochis, they, they can deal damage to me with their stupid uh, stampede ability, which somehow goes through shields. Um, but the uh, the rest of whatever he's firing, unless he's got, uh, you know, uh, the harpoon weapons, isn't going to break through at all. Or, unless maybe he's running shield break, but tell me, show me one Orokochi running shield break. Uh, actually, wait, there are a bunch, because Afyons are such a menace now in the game that Orokochis are actually running shield break. But... Most people don't. Most Ohokochis you see don't run shield break. They rather go with phase shift, for example, to shorten the already short ability cooldown even further and make it impossible to kill them, you know? Um, and you see, unfortunately, we're losing this first match here on uh, Springfield due to beacon control. Uh, I don't know how this is possible when I keep th three or four of the enemy team busy pretty much all the time. Uh, but eventually it seems they have uh, freed themselves from the spawn because this was domination. They all spawn in front of me 
Um, <clears throat> but it seems like they spawned there, and then they get the heck out of there because they realized they couldn't beat me. This guy was shield breaking me flying in, did some good damage to me, but I can obviously shield break him as well, and uh, and then he's gone. Unfortunately, I would have con I would have continued the sla slaughtering the Newton, for example, but see, one robot and uh, we did six million damage. We'll also explore what happens when enemies shoot you with a Titan, for example, for for like three minutes. Will this count to their damage when they shoot into my shields? We'll see that in a moment too. Let's first enjoy uh, some uh, power plant. Uh, where we completely flatten the enemy team here with this thing. This is a Dagon robot too. He even activated shield break, but it seems like he was targeting the wrong guy or something because he wasn't dealing any damage to me. And of course, the um, the usual suspects, the Okokochi is here. Um, and he even got the second ability. Tell me that we didn't drop him below 50% while his ability was running. Tell me we didn't do it. I mean, seriously, this guy looked like we dropped him below 50% as his first ability was running. Therefore, he should not have gotten that second free no skill ability, but... He got it, uh, but it didn't work much because he already got killed pretty quickly then. And so we have something upcoming, uh, maybe a Dagon again? Oh yeah, it is a Dagon, and they hate when I attack them in short range because I can just go right through their shields while they cannot even scratch mine. I'm talking about four, six times Tamer max. They can't get through. They cannot get through these four, 500,000 HP shields that regenerate 150,000 per second or something like this, plus the battleship shield coming in and all together. And that's why I'm saying, if you want to kill the setup, you don't just break through three or four or five hundred thousand shield. No, you gotta bring 20 million damage output to the table because unless you're bringing six guys at the same time, this is how much you're gonna shoot into my shields because they regenerate quicker than you can do damage, right? It's a never-ending amount of shields, the shield pool. Uh, so either you heavily shield break the setup, and that's why I always focus crisis robots first, I realized he was going to do that, so I went out of line of sight for a second, he wasted his ability, and then I killed him. And there's another Crisis robot, I, f I focus them whenever I can, because I understand these guys, they have a built-in shield break ability, with more damage on top, so now, thank you, I'll go without that, <laughs> if I can. And here I see my other enemy, it's a Harpoon uh, Lynx, so I have to get this guy, I, I have to get him quick, and thankfully I got a massive HP restore. Um, and uh, and that kept me in the game. Then I saw the shield break on the Gauss um, Typhon, so I activated a quick shield uh, face shift to sh to shield uh, to face right through his strong shield breaking shot. For the next couple of seconds, he will not have any shield breaks. I'm going in, but it seems like he's getting shield broken now from a Reaper from far away. That was okay. Now we have the first Titan on. All right. Let's see what happens when Titans shoot into my shield with their massive Titan weapons. Oh, you know what? It's it's still unfair. Let's make that two Titans, okay? Two Titans shooting me. Although, of course, I'm playing smart. I'm hiding behind the first Titan. The Luchador can't shoot me right now because friendly line of fire blocks damage. It's true. You can just hide behind one Titan and basically negate uh, all the damage that potentially would have come from the second Titan. He's now jumping and I'm doing the same thing again. I'm going below the ridge line where once again he has no line of sight with me. I have meanwhile almost killed a Rook Titan. Although, almost, right? When he gets down to 40%, this is when they really start to get tanky. Um, but um, yeah, I've done a lot of damage to him. Now, uh, this guy's getting downed and uh, the Rook who's busy with me shooting the whole time, he, he he's exposed. A lot of my teammates are able to shoot him. Probably eventually Titans and Newtons and whatever are gonna snipe him down. Uh, but even if we don't, I mean, I can simply kill him because he's never ever going to get through that shield. <laughs> it is just this insane. So when I said uh, 10 million shield energy or whatever, 20 million, uh, it's it's really literally true. You can have two Titans shooting you, they won't break through your shields, but they will do 20 million damage in a minute. They will do 20 million damage in one minute, or maybe 10, yeah? But they will not go through the shields. Deploying <laughs> turrets, jumping scorpions, they're shooting me from far away. And thankfully the crisis robot there is busy and doesn't see me. Um, now they did break through for a second. But then I press the ability button on the Dagon, which reinforces my shield strength by 25%. And by the way, I think, I think I've noticed that this strength shield bonus goes for all the shields you have on the Dagon. If I am not mistaken, I may have to check that again. But uh, look, they're spawning continuously and getting spawned frick by me here. <laughs> um, and, uh, but I, I can spawn the battleship shield with 300,000 and press the button and it will be more than 400 something thousand afterwards. So all your shields get a 25% bonus, basically, if I get this right. Now, I'm coming and focusing, of course, the crisis robots again. Look, living legend that nothing is gonna happen. However, take a look at my health. I'm now slowly but surely losing health. You see it? Pop, pop, 
pup. It's because uh, I'm focusing the crisis robots, but I didn't see that there was a harpoon lynx behind me. So somebody brought the solution. <laughs> he brought the solution to the uh, to the puzzle, <laughs> and uh, he was able to do that against me from behind. I didn't see him. If I had known it earlier, I would have been able to just turn around and focus him back, right? Now here again, I'm moving forward. Two, three enemy players are focusing me at first. Then they realize there is no going through these shields, and now they're shooting my teammate. I face shifted instantly because I thought the crisis robot was shield breaking me with his reapers. However, he didn't actually run his shield break at that point, so that uh, that face shift was completely useless. I needed it basically now. Uh, I just dropped the Typhon robot. Now I'm getting shield broken by the Reaper Crisis, but thankfully he didn't hit me too hard. Already killed the Cerberus, uh, or no, the Erebus and the Typhon with my shield break. They spawn another Erebus, which is funny, because that is really my uh, the, the easiest thing for me to kill, because I can literally just kill it in three seconds. Again, the Crisis uh, robot up there is shield breaking me. I always eyeball him. Every time he fires, I try to get behind cover. So although he is dealing damage because he's opening fire at the right time, he's never, en never actually able to put his entire salvo into me because I'm always evading the last couple of shots. Um, and uh, that Afion obviously has not much of a choice, but uh, no other choice but to die because I can just shield break him unless he flies out of 150 meters very quickly. Um, yeah, so let's bait the shot on that crisis again. See, pup works like a dream. Every time I act like I'm moving out, he presses the button and I'm like, <laughs> get behind cover. Um, but uh, so this time he wasn't even able to do one point of damage to me. Uh, but don't worry, we'll kill him in a second. Um, let's just focus down this uh, T-Falcon. Interesting that it is a T-Falcon, but he does have the two stakes on the outer sides. Remember what I showed you in this video recently? You can do this. You can run two stakes on the outer sides of the Scorpion. You'll get the stake shield, even though you're not able to actually activate your primary ability to get these two weapons active. But you still have the resistance from the traditionalist plus the stake shields. Extremely awesome that Pixonic allows this to happen. It doesn't make the robot overpowered at all. It just allows it to be a little more tricky, a little more sneaky, and a little more smart when it comes to uh, the setup building, right? Very nice. I like, I like that Pixonic. Very good job. Um, this guy, I think he was trying to bait me into jumping off uh, from the bridge, uh, trying to kill me because he was running away like a sissy uh, as soon as he noticed him coming for him. Um, but uh, I guess he understood that I will just use face shift when he shoots me with his shield break. I have shown him that a couple of times. Uh, so now he's coming with his Titan. So this is what I mentioned before. When enemies bring a fully maxed Luchador, and he is maximum, there is no more. Because look, I'm doing nothing to him. It's like I'm tickling him with my six harpoon weapons. Do you know how much firepower comes from these harpoons? I barely ma I be just barely scratched a paint off that l Lucha. Uh, but so is he. He's unloading his freaking full Sonic Barrage. And he barely gets through my first shield, or my second. Now I'm face shifting, I'm speeding this up. Look, we're having 300% running speed on the gameplay now. And he's reloading and he's unleashing everything. I'm using my battleship. He's slowly but surely whittling me down because the frog splash goes through my shield and it will eventually kill me. But I'm at the same time, I restore and reinforce my shields always with the battleship shield. So I'm getting maximum gray HP back. And so this is a battle that could go on for an extremely long time until we both decide that it's boring and we just go for different targets <laughs> it's just a titan fully max sonic weapons it has a potential of dealing like two million or three million damage in a matter of seconds like three four five seconds he can't get through the shields if that doesn't work what what possibly could go through these shields if not even a full sonic weapon unload can do it here, he could with his shield break, but of course I'm not stupid. I see his shield break symbol over his robot and I just face shift. That's why I'm running the face shift because it's the counter to the counter. So I counter their try their attempt to countering me and uh, therefore we're left off with uh, a loss on their end. <laughs> Look at this sub -dour Curie. It is the most powerful sub, uh, the most powerful meta Curie you can run. A robot so powerful, he is used to dominating and rush, rushing through enemies with no resistance. That's how powerful this Curie is. He has like 700,000 HP when he presses the button with his ability. But you know what? I do that damage. I just need a little bit of time for that. And he will never get through these shields unless he shield breaks. There is no other way. Look, his double Curie turrets are shooting me. His two heavy sub doors are shooting me. And I have two full shields in the top left corner just chilling and waiting for something to happen, man. <laughs> Dude, this is just... <laughs> I played this, this night, yesterday, no, today. It's now 3.40 p.m. 
Um, uh, and uh, I will release this video later, in a few hours. Um, <coughs> and I played this in the middle of the night. Uh, and I was I was surprised to see how many enemies were there. How many people were playing in the middle of the freaking night, dude? Seriously, it was like 6, 4, 5 in the morning in the night for me. But I was not tired and I was like, mm, alright, let's make the giveaway announce video tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, and I had this viewer request in mind. And it, it's just, it's just, it's just a dream. Now, uh, let me just show you one short sequence where how I kill, um, Orpheons. I, uh, I EMP them. And then they can't move the, into their ability. And I kill their HP and I kill their last stand and that's it. No phase shift works, no ability activation works because they're EMP. Does that an entire Orpheon with all his power, all his ability and everything was ready. And he just dies instantly, has no chance. And he can't even shoot me back because I'm in stealth. <laughs> it, is such a, it is such a nasty thing to do to, us, to an Orpheon. Uh, here, I also see the Loki. He's also smart, he's got a phase shift. Um, but uh, that Seeker drone does not provide me with temporarily stealth detection. He probably thought I was quantum radaring him, and for five seconds I have stealth detection, he phase shifts and I can't kill him. But no, I have stealth detection within 350 meters, always active, due to the Seeker drone. Um, and uh, and that, that plus the shield bonuses, <coughs> the durability and shield bonuses. And I believe there's also a healing uh, happening from time to time. I'm not 100% sure, I think. Now again, let's spawn raid the next spawn here. There's a bunch of uh, Typhons here raid waiting for me to have some fun with them. He's already running away. He, by the way, has a shield break. No, one of the Typhons does. The Demeter jumps on the Typhon in the last second, but guess what, man? Your shield doesn't matter against me. He's activating shield break, but it doesn't matter. He was already dead. Then the next guy activates shield break because you see, they have this all on their robots. And they realize if they want to kill this thing, they have to spawn whatever they have that can shield break. And so what you'll see happen is you go into the enemy spawn, you kill them two or three times, and then they're like, aha, I can't do it without shield break. And they use whatever they have in their hangar that ha does have the shield break ability. Be it a crisis, be it a shield break active module, whatever. I'm dying from corrosion and it's sad because if you take a look at the top left here, uh, it's the end of the video now, but uh, I have died with two shields on top. So I have three shields active at this very moment three the one that you're seeing being destroyed is one of the shields after that would be two full more shields the full i think 125 or 160,000 uh stake needle weapon shields would be after this and then comes the dagon shield with 250,000 after that and after they deplete the dagon shield if they ever do it the stake shield would be back and then my battleship shield would be back. And so they would never get through it. Never. They have to run shield break. It is funny when you're in a spawn, the whole team is trying to kill you and they can't do it because they don't have the right tool for the job. <laughs> what a fun build. Anyways, this also video again also announces the winner for the giveaway. So make sure if you did participate, check it down in the description pinned comment. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful time. Wait, what day is it today? YouTuber, I don't know what day it is. Uh, ah, Friday. Yeah, every day is a work day. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, if you did participate, check out the link, link down in the description, pinned comment, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Manny off.